Over the years, we've reviewed and tested plenty of mobile phone gimbals, and one of our biggest gripes was how they handled larger phones, especially if you start adding a case onto them, accessories, lenses, what have you, they all seem to not perform as well with a larger phone. So we're super excited today to test the Xiaoyun Smooth 5 to see how it handles a larger phone and to see whether it's still up to the standard of high quality mobile phone gimbals. All right, to start, let's talk about the design of the Xiaoyun Smooth 5, starting from the bottom of the gimbal. So we've got a quarter inch screw thread at the bottom, which is perfect for any accessory mounting if you want to mount an arm to it, or this mini tripod that comes included with the gimbal. So once you screw that in, you not only get to use the gimbal on a flat surface if you want to stand it up and film yourself or another person, or you can use it for extra grip and stability as well, which is mainly what I like to use it for. Going up, the grip, nice and large. So if you do have big hands, the Xiaoyun Smooth 5 is very comfortable to use. It's got a rubber grip around the front, so it feels really nice in your hands to use. And overall, the form factor, it's not too big, it's not too small. Um, it feels very nice to use. Moving up to the middle, to the back of the Smooth 5 is a very in-depth control panel, which is something I've always loved from the Xiaoyun Smooth series. Um, we'll start with the buttons that you get. So first of all, you get a menu button. If you have the app, you can access the menu by just simply pressing the menu button and off it goes. <laughs> And to the right of the menu button, you have a mode button, which allows you to swap between the five gimbal modes, which are pan follow, lock, follow, POV, and vertigo mode. These can be accessed without the app. So if you don't want to use the Xiaoyun app and want to use your own camera app, you can still swap between those five gimbal modes without the app, which I think is really, really cool. And below the mode button, you have a record button. So if you connect your gimbal to your phone via Bluetooth, you can activate the recording with just a simple press of the button. On top of that as well, you have an adjustment wheel to adjust any minor settings and navigate through the menu. It also has ISO adjustment as well as a playback button. And then below that, you also have a joystick that will allow you to control the panning as well as the tilting of the gimbal. On the left of the gimbal, you have a focus and zoom wheel. Basically, if you're in manual focus, you can use the wheel to focus, but if you're in the zoom function, you can also use it to get your zooming in and out as well. When you're recording, um, depending on your format, you do have zoom recording uh, limits. So make sure to get your zoom beforehand if you want to go into that more telephoto depth. But it's pretty neat just being able to zoom very smoothly when you're recording using this wheel. So if you're gonna get those creative shots, it's really, really easy. Now let's talk about the actual motor itself. Firstly, you've got an offset motor and the offset motor is very handy because it doesn't cover your phone screen and it allows you to see what you're recording, which is awesome. In terms of being able to balance, there are a couple ways for you to balance on this. You've got the balancing at the back here. So you just undo this lock and you can balance the axis at the back. And then for the last bit of balancing, you can basically just move your phone along in the phone clamp. On top of the phone clamp, there are magnets for you to attach an optional accessory by Xiaoyun called the magnetic fill light. And you can just attach that at the top just to give you that little bit of light punch when you're on the field. And also it comes with some gels as well just to give you a little bit of creative flair and flexibility. Now in terms of the strength of the motors, one of my biggest things about mobile phone gimbals is yes, they're compact and in most cases, they're not that strong. And then on the flip side, if you're going for a hybrid gimbal, which is a little bit bigger, it's just a little bit clunkier, like you've got a lot more weight, it's more designed for a camera, and that's not something that's compact and easy to bring along with, and probably a bit too cumbersome for your phone. So one of the most exciting things about the Smooth 5 is the payload. It can hold up to 320 grams, which is huge, and the phone clamp can also cater for those larger phones with cases on. Now what we've got on here today is an iPhone 11 with a case, which is a pretty standard phone, but we're also gonna test it with a larger phone as well. In terms of how it's performing with the iPhone 11 and the case, it's actually performing quite well. And with the maximum payload, I can imagine you can add extra accessories such as filters or lenses or anything else on top of it, and it'll still perform quite well. But we will do a test with a heavier phone and a larger phone to see how it goes. But overall, I'm pretty confident that it's gonna do a good job. 
Now in terms of the gimbal movement, you do have 240 degree roll and tilt movement and you can put it in underslung or portrait mode as well. So there's two ways to do portrait mode. The first one is to actually adjust the clamp so it's in portrait mode, which requires a little bit of rebalancing again. Unfortunately, there is no button for you to just automatically go into portrait mode. But in saying that, you can tilt the gimbal 90 degrees. <laughs> if you do want to go into portrait mode quickly, you can tilt it 90 degrees and it will go portrait if you turn it the right way and not do what I just did. If you turn it another 90 degrees, you can go to underslug mode, which is awesome. So you can get more creative angles with this, especially if you want to run and follow as well. Now in terms of creative functions, as standard, it does have a dolly zoom vertigo effect as well as a POV orbital shot. And you do have the ability to track as well. Like any other mobile phone gimbal, you have the ability to basically draw an area on your phone and it will basically smart track it for you. Other additional things about the design, one of the most important features is the trigger. The trigger is pretty standard. It does the same functions as most mobile phone gimbals. Double tap will basically allow you to reset the gimbal. And then if you triple tap, it will rotate 180 degrees or basically rotate back the other way so you can film yourself if you're gonna vlog. Um, and if you triple tap it again, it'll take you back to the front. All right, now let's go off and take this thing for a spin. Spin. So just testing the selfie mode at the moment and I'm going to assume it looks really good and one of the best things about it is when you're setting up your shot the zoom wheel makes it so easy to get your framing so I basically just locked it to 0.5 times I'm on my super wide angle just to guarantee that I'm in the shot and I can get some background in and I really think it's neat that I don't have to touch the phone to adjust any of these settings and I can just use what's on the gimbal then I can easily push this away now I'm filming Mitch. So if you're a vlogger and you want to film yourself as well, one of the coolest things is you can just pre-draw the area. And if I jump in, he'll follow me. So the joystick is really easy to use. If you want it to like pan really quickly, push it all the way to the left, or push it all the way to the right. But if you want it to go slow, you can just direct it really slow. If you want to go up and down as well. Just lightly touch it up and you can get some awesome, just some awesome shots. All right, so now we're gonna swap it from our iPhone to a much larger phone, a much larger case, to a Samsung S21 Ultra. Now I'll also show you as well the, um, the clamp, because if you want to swap it to portrait, you basically just turn it like that and then you can clamp it in portrait and also the safety locks as well. I'll demonstrate that if you want to travel, um, you can lock everything up by tilting it the correct way. That locks in and the last lock is here, which will lock up like so. And then once you move around, it doesn't rattle as much in your bag, which is awesome. But let's mount on this bad boy and see how it performs. Right, so we've been using it for a bit now, and in terms of my impressions with the weight, it's not heavy at all. Um, all in all, with the battery and everything and the phone on, I wouldn't imagine it to be anywhere more than like six to 700 grams, so it's actually not that bad at all. The whole construction itself is quite light, so if you're gonna be traveling with this, 
it's going to be a pretty easy setup to travel with. Now in terms of battery life, it lasts 12 hours. So if you're out traveling on a day or going out for a shoot, that's gonna be plenty of battery life. To charge it as well, it just uses a simple USB-C cable to charge it. And it also has a secondary USB-C port at the top as well, if you want to charge your phone. Now in terms of using it with a microphone, you will have to push your phone a little bit out to get the microphone in as um, you can't really use it once it's touching the gimbal motor. So if you push your phone out just a little bit, um, you should be able to plug a phone in and rebalance it, which is great. Um, and the last thing I forgot to mention about the trigger is that one cool thing is it does have go mode. So if you hold down the trigger and you go left, right, up, down, um, it basically puts the motors into overdrive. So if you're doing something that's high in action and high in performance and you really need to move the gimbal really quickly, um, holding down that trigger engages go mode and it makes the whole experience of shooting um, action shots a lot easier. Overall, the Giant Smooth 5 does everything you need a mobile phone gimbal to do and even better so because it can handle those larger phones. In terms of usability and lightweightness, it's super lightweight, very comfortable to use and all the features that you have on the actual gimbal basically allow you to use the gimbal one without an app if you're just switching between modes and also having the joystick, the focus wheels, all those little additions onto it makes the whole gimbal experience amazing. We've loved every single iteration of the Giant Smooth series and they only seem to get better. With a price point of mid $200, if you're looking for a compact phone gimbal that gives you a lot of creative flexibility, then the Giant Smooth 5 is a great mobile phone gimbal. If you have any questions on the Smooth 5, pop them in the comments below or pop into our store on George Street in Sydney, Australia. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and our blog to stay up to date with our latest events and promotions and what's going on in store. And finally, make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos so we upload videos regularly.